children. How are you all? Fine. Very good. Welcome to online classes English for class 11. So this is the first session for this week. And today I am going to teach you Ranga's marriage from the book Snapshots. So first let's have a look at the introduction. First we begin with introduction. <clears throat> astrology, science or superstition? What is astrology? Is it a science? Or is it based on evidence? Or is it superstition? The dispute over the sanctity and validity of astrology has been going on for hundreds of years. Okay, so astrology, is it a science or superstition? Now, the first point, astrology is believed to be an ancient art. Some people believe it to be a science. Now, according to some, astrology, what is astrology? It is an ancient art. And according to some others, some people believe that it is a science. It is supposed to be the study of the movements and relative positions of celestial bodies, the stars, the earth, the planet and all that, and their influence on human affairs and the natural world. So, some people believe, actually the astrologers believe, that the movement of the celestial bodies, the stars, the planets and all that have got certain effects on human affairs or in simple words on human beings. Okay. Uh, some astrologers say according to the what you say Rashi, whatever you call it, a horoscope, uh, because of this that would have a negative effect, some would have a positive effect. And of course, astrology is a very, very vast subject. We have to go deep into it to understand all that. The dispute over the sanctity and validity of astrology has been going on for hundreds of years. Now there is a dispute whether about the sanctity, the validity, is it really valid? Is the things which the astrologers predict, does it really happen? Are those things really true? So a dispute is always there. But can it be treated as a source of true information regarding a person's characteristics, behavior and future? Well, scientists actually do not believe in this because they feel that how can it give or tell astrology, how can it depict your future, how can it tell about your future. And always science wants evidence, proof as you call it. In traditional Indian arranged marriages, horoscopes play a very crucial role. Yes, in all arranged marriages, both from your bride side as well as the group side, first horoscope is asked. And then both the horoscopes are matched. And then only as far as marriage is concerned, one moves ahead in the talks. Marriages do not happen if horoscopes do not match. In arranged marriages, marriages do not happen if the brides and the grooms, both the horoscopes do not match, then the marriage does not happen. Do you think horoscopes truly determine compatibility between two people and predict the success or failure of their relationship? Well, science doesn't believe in this. No, it doesn't believe in this. Now, do you think that if the two horoscopes don't match, if there's no compatibility that is understood?
understanding between the two things will not work out is it really true thing okay please think about it about the author look here he is the author author of what the lesson ranga's marriage okay masti vegetesha ayer 1891 to 1986 was a popular writer in kannada language so he is a very popular writer who used to write in kannada he was the fourth recipient of the gandhi award for kannada literature he even he was awarded the gandhi award for his works his contributions to kannada literature renowned for his short stories he was very famous for his short stories and plays so he was very famous for his short stories and plays he wrote under the pen name of srinivas so his pen name his name as you call it was what srinivas masti kannada asti is a popular phrase which means that masti is kannada's treasure it is the most valuable thing kannada's treasure something which is very valuable very costly see look at the picture of the author i was a prolific writer at an alumnus of madras university he passed out from this university ex student as you say so he was an alumnus of madras university the name is now changed to chen from where he graduated in english literature so he graduated in english literature but he wrote in kannada language so he was he must have had so much of ability for writing in his lifetime he wrote more than 123 books in kannada and 17 in english so he wrote in kannada and english also he was a recipient of the prestigious gandhi award in 1983 for his novel chikkavira rajendra so he received the gandhi award for this particular book the story was about the last raja of a kodu group kodu is very nearby yes this is sent school bijapur kodu is hardly a few kilometers away from bijapur Ranga's marriage. This is today's lesson by Masti Venkatesha Ayer. The story Ranga's marriage takes us to those times when there were few people who knew. Okay, so the story Ranga's marriage takes us to those times when there were few people who knew English. So many, many. Years ago, when this Ranga's marriage happened, at that time it was Ranga's time. Let's say that very few people knew English, and children knowing English. If a person could speak in English, knew English, he was considered great at that time. Customs and traditions were given excessive importance. people were very very traditional minded uh, they gave lot of importance to traditions and customs yes it is of course very right and true also one must follow one's customs customs religion traditions and all that but not uh, too much yes following these traditions ranga ranga marries ratna so ranga followed all the customs and traditions and married ratna the narita shama makes narita is the one who is narrating the story the one who is narrating the story is said to be the narrator the narita shama makes the wedding possible with the help of shastri So actually, with the help of Shama, 
actually Sharma helped in materializing that marriage with the help of who? With the help of Shastra. The human tendency of going after something that has been forbidden. For the forbidden means you are told not to go for that, not to do that. Has been brought out through the eponymous character Ranga. Shama takes the advantage of this very tendency and facilitates Ranga's marriage by making him long for Ranga. So what sort of character is Ranga's? He likes that girl Ratna. Who is the mediator? Shama is the mediator. With the help of Shastri, the marriage happens. The protagonist Ranga belongs to the Hosari village in the erstwhile state of Mysore in Karnataka. Now Ranga is only educated. He went for higher education. He knows English. But he is a protagonist. Firmly be using all the traditions and customs. Only a few people could speak English when Ranga was sent to the city for his studies. He was sent to the city for his studies and he was quite well versed in English and at that time very few people knew English. His homecoming when he comes back home after completing his studies Therefore, was a huge event. It is as if some great personality has come. People run to see him. Hey, come here, come here. You know, it happens in villages mostly. That is a tendency of the people. Hey, come, come. Let's go. Yes, no. Yes, no. There is some great personality. Why? We don't know English. That man and nobody of us, none of us have been to the city. That man went to the city. Studied there and has come back. Knows English so well. Am I right? This is a tendency very common in villages. People rush out to see that person. Many people believe that <coughs> those who receive education in English lose their caste. So long back this was the feeling and the thinking of the people many many years ago. What was the thinking? They thought that if a person receives education in English, he knows English, he loses all his, what? He loses his caste. But is it true? No. It is all here. Ranga wearing his sacred thread, Jalavera, confirms his sanctity and thereby assures the maintenance of his caste. So what does Ranga say? He shows the people. See, look at my Janavera. That sacred thread. It is called in English sacred thread. And this is a ceremony organized for that sacred thread, you know. So he tells the people, see, look here. Look at my sacred thread. I have not lost my caste. It is very much intact here. So you people can see this. This what? What is this? That sacred thread. What he needs to say is that I have not lost my caste. The narrator Shama also feels delighted to see Ranga. He feels delighted, he feels so happy to see him back. He takes avid interest, a lot of interest in Ranga's marriage. He takes so much interest in his marriage. Ranga, on the contrary, has no plans to marry in the near future and expresses his dislike for arranged marriages. No, Ranga has no plans to marry and he expresses his dislike for arranged marriages and he says that he does not believe, he does not like arranged marriages. So he does not show any interest in it. It distresses the narrator, makes him very sad, unhappy and he decides to find out ways to get Ranga married. So, Shama, the narrator, is distressed, very unhappy. He tries to find out ways and means to get him married. He is quick to judge that Ranga can be the ideal match for Ramarao's niece, Ratna.
So who is that? Radha is a beautiful girl of 11. She is 11 years old and hails from a big town. So she hails from a very big town. Who? Radha. She has come to stay with the uncle in the village after the death of her parents. So she has come to stay in the village because her parents are no more. The narrator arranges a meeting in which Ranga can see Ratna. So the director Shama he arranges a meeting in which both can meet each other. While she is singing, he calls for Ranga. Ratna abruptly stops singing. Suddenly she stops singing. Then she finds Ranga staring at her and runs inside the house. So uh, Ratna was busy singing. At that time Ranga comes, he starts uh, staring at her and she suddenly stops singing. <clears throat> Why? Because she is so sharp, overcome by shyness. Hearing her sweet voice, Ranga develops an immediate liking for her. So Ranga likes her sweet melodious voice. See, look at the picture here. She is Ratna. Ranga asks the narrator whether the girl is married or not. So Ranga asks Shama, the narrator, whether Ratna is married or not. The narrator lies, he tells a lie, by saying that she married a year ago. So the narrator lies to Ranga. On hearing this, Ranga's face falls. He becomes unhappy. Face falls means he becomes upset. He becomes unhappy. The narrator immediately realizes that Ranga has developed a liking for the girl. So the narrator understood that Ranga likes Ratna. Shama takes Ranga to Shastri who has already been tutored. He has told about Ranga beforehand to go to Shastri. Tutored him to talk about Ranga's likes. So he has told him to talk about Ranga's likes. Very cleverly, he makes the prediction that the girl Ranga would eventually marry would have a name associated with the ocean. Kamala or Ratna. So what does Shastri tell him? Shastri tells him that the girl who would marry, her name would be something like Ratna. Something to do with ocean. Shastri also declares, he says, that the marriage with Ratna would be successful. Shastri tells him that if you marry Ratna, that would be very successful. At last, as a result of the narrator's efforts, Ranga's marriage is arranged. So, Shama finally arranges the marriage. After many years, Ranga invites the narrator to his first brother of his son. Means Ranga is now married to Ratna, so he invites him to the first birthday of his son. He honors the narrator by naming his first child after him. So, as an honor to the narrator, he names his child after him. That is what he does. So, this is the introduction that you saw in brief about the lesson Ranga's marriage. How in ancient times or long back, how people believed it. In their customs, still we do believe in our custom traditions, we follow also. Uh, people were slightly superstitious also, as in the case here in this story, when Ranga comes back from the city after his studies, people think that he has lost his caste. Why? Because he starts, he knows English so well, he received his education in English. But then Ranga proves them wrong by showing his sacred threat to the people of his village. Uh, it was just a it was just a superstition, isn't it? And it is not that if one goes to English or one goes to some city for further studies, one loses one's caste. No. And astrology, 
we also talked about astrology but astrology some people say as i told you in the beginning is a science some people think it is all based on superstitions may be true may not be true uh, and science let me tell you science science means evidence for everything if you say this is correct if you follow this that will happen still you know science needs evidence you have to prove if you say something you have to prove it blindly science doesn't follow anything or believe anything so 